chapter 10, Genesis 28 to 30. Empty handed Jacob, the ties covenant. The covenant of God continued down to Jacob, who ran away from his elder brother, and God gave the promise of Emmanuel to Jacob, who went to Lodz in Haran. First point Jacob, who was born in Canaan, leaves his hometown twice. The first was when he left to escape his brother Isa, and the second was when he left to Egypt to escape famine. But every time Jacob left Canaan, God always came to visit him in his dreams. The first time when he fled from his brother to Haran, God met with him in his dream in Bethel in his sleep. God promised him that he would be given the land of Canaan as well as his descendants, and that he will return one day. The second was when he had to go far from Canaan to Egypt, and God came to his dreams in Beersheba. The difference this time was that he would be returning after his death. It was here again that God came to him in his dream. I am God, the God of your father, he said. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make you into a great nation there. God gave Jacob the courage and confirmation he needed. I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again, and Joseph's own hand will close your eyes. Second point. Empty-handed Jacob promises God his tithe. On hearing God's promise, Jacob vowed that if he could come back to Canaan, the place he erected the stone would become God's house and he would offer a tenth of his possession as a tithe. Jacob's promise of tithes had its roots in his grandfather Abraham offering tithe to God after his encounter with Melchizedek. So like his grandfather, Jacob promised tithe to God. God received Jacob's promise when he was an empty-handed man. Third point, the twelve sons of Jacob born in Haran later become the twelve tribes of Israel. Abraham to Isaac, Isaac to Jacob, sons that were born by near miracles until now, eventually led to twelve sons of Jacob. However, among the grown family, Jacob loved Rachel a great deal more, and his love for Rachel continued unto Joseph. Jacob's extreme favoritism led to a conflicting and divided household. This was resolved after many, many years after the death of Jacob in Egypt. Fourth point, Jacob, the master of bargaining, is fooled by a bargain. Jacob succeeded in taking Esau's birthrights with the lentils too, but this led to him having to run away. Later, Jacob bargains with his uncle Laban twice. The first was to get Rachel as his wife, which he promised to work for seven years. But Jacob gets fooled by Laban and in return is made to work for 14 years. The second bargain regarded his payment. Laban fooled Jacob ten times regarding this matter. Jacob even bargained with his wives in the process of having children. Such bargaining led to more bargains, and this in turn created even more conflict in Jacob's household. Fifth point, Jacob gathered only the possessions he could take from Haran to Canaan. Jacob spent six years collecting his wealth, and he managed to become very wealthy. Jacob worked relentlessly, but this was all in order to take back to Canaan. Jacob had no intention of living in Haran forever. He always knew that he would return to Canaan. Jacob majored in livestock for 20 years in Haran. Some time later, Jacob's descendants enter Egypt and gain tremendous results from livestock in the land of Goshen. Even a few hundred years later, when the descendants of Jacob live a hard life making bricks, 
more than 22,000 families were able to prepare a year-old ram to offer as the Passover lamb. Indeed, their traditions in livestock continued. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.